시작 전에 구독과 좋아요 눌러주시면 영상 제작에 큰 힘이 됩니다. 이번 영상은 첫 번째는 한글과 영어로 시청 두 번째는 영어 자막 보며 시청 세 번째는 무자막으로 시청 들리는 대로 따라 소리내어 말하시면 더욱 빠르게 영어 실력이 상승하니 꼭 소리내어 읽어주세요. 그리고 마지막으로 자막 없이 들어보세요. 그럼 시작하겠습니다. 자는 오늘 새 학교에 처음으로 왔어요. John arrived at his new school for the first time today. 그는 교문을 지나면서 긴장이 되었어요. He felt nervous as he passed through the school gate. 새로운 친구들을 만날 생각에 두근거렸죠. He was excited about meeting new friends. 복도에는 많은 학생들이 있었어요. The hallway was full of students. 그는 반으로 가는 길을 찾았어요. He found his way to the classroom. 교실에 들어서자 모두가 그를 쳐다봤어요. As he entered, everyone looked at him. 선생님은 그에게 자리를 안내해 주셨어요. The teacher showed him to his seat. 그는 창가 자리에 앉았어요. He sat by the window. 첫 수업은 수학이었어요. The first class was math. 자는 선생님 말씀을 집중해서 들었어요. John listened carefully to the teacher. 칠판에 숫자들이 가득 적혀 있었어요. The board was filled with numbers. 그는 문제를 풀어 보려고 노력했어요. He tried hard to solve the problems. 점심 시간이 되었어요. It was lunch time. 그는 혼자 밥을 먹을까 고민했어요. He wondered if he should eat alone. 하지만 한 친구가 그에게 다가왔어요. But then, a friend came up to him. 같이 먹을래? 친구가 물었어요. Do you want to eat together? The friend asked. 자는 웃으며 고개를 끄덕였어요. John smiled and nodded. 그들은 함께 이야기를 나누며 친해졌어요. They talked and became friends. 오후 수업은 영어 시간이었어요. The afternoon class was English. 선생님은 질문을 던졌어요. The teacher asked a question. 자는 손을 들었어요. John raised his hand. 그의 대답에 선생님은 미소지었어요. The teacher smiled at his answer. 하루가 빠르게 지나갔어요. The day passed quickly. 집에 돌아오는 길에 그는 기분이 좋았어요. On his way home, he felt good. 학교가 생각보다 괜찮다고 느꼈어요. He realized the school wasn't so bad after all. 매일 조금씩 더 적응해 나갔어요. Each day, he adapted a little more. 그는 수업에 더 자신감을 가졌어요. He grew more confident in class. 새로운 친구들도 많이 생겼어요. He made many new friends. 공부도 열심히 했고 성적도 올랐어요. He studied hard and his grades improved. 자는 새로운 학교에서 행복하게 지냈어요. John was happy at his new school. 릴리는 엄마와 함께 수영장에 갔어요. Lily went to the pool with her mom. 그녀는 신났지만 조금 두렵기도 했어요. She felt excited but a little scared. 물은 깊고 파랗게 보였어요. The water looked deep and blue. 걱정 마, 엄마가 미소 지으며 말했어요. Don't worry, said her mom with a smile. 릴리는 핑크색 수영 모자를 썼어요. Lily put on her pink swim cap. 그녀는 발가락을 차가운 물에 담갔어요. She dipped her toes in the cool water. 차가워. 그녀는 몸을 떨며 말했어요. It's cold, she said, shivering. 엄마는 웃으며 먼저 물속으로 뛰어들었어요. Her mom laughed and jumped in first. Lily는 천천히 수영장 안으로 걸어 들어갔어요. Lily slowly stepped into the pool. 
물이 피부에 닿으니 기분이 좋았어요. The water felt nice on her skin. 먼저 물에 떠보자 엄마가 말했어요. Let's start with floating, said her mom. 릴리는 등을 대고 누워 팔을 넓게 펼쳤어요. Lily lay on her back, arms spread wide. 나 물에 떠 있어. 릴리가 놀라며 외쳤어요. I'm floating, Lily shouted, surprised. 그녀는 물속에서 다리를 부드럽게 움직였어요. She kicked her legs gently in the water. 잘했어. 계속 연습해. 엄마가 말했어요. Good job. Keep practicing. Her mom said. 다음으로 그들은 물속에서 거품을 불어보기로 했어요. Next, they tried blowing bubbles. 릴리는 얼굴을 물속에 넣고 숨을 불었어요. Lily put her face in the water and blew. 거품이 떠오르자 그녀는 웃음을 터뜨렸어요. Bubbles floated up, making her giggle. 이제 수영을 해보자, 엄마가 말했어요. Now, let's try swimming, her mom said. 릴리는 엄마가 수영하는 모습을 지켜보았어요. Lily watched her mom swim across the pool. 나도 할수 있어. 릴리가 자신 있게 말했어요. I can do it too, Lily said confidently. 그녀는 팔을 움직이고 다리를 찼어요. She moved her arms and kicked her feet. 처음엔 물을 여기저기 튀겼어요. At first, she splashed everywhere. 이런 너무 엉망이었어. 릴리가 웃으며 말했어요. Oops, that was messy. Lily laughed. 엄마가 부드럽게 움직이는 방법을 보여주었어요. Her mom showed her how to move smoothly. Lily는 다시 시도했고 이번에는 훨씬 잘했어요. Lily tried again, this time much better. 그녀는 수영장의 한쪽 끝에서 다른 쪽 끝까지 헤엄쳤어요. She swam from one side of the pool to the other. 해냈어. 엄마가 크게 환호했어요. You did it. Her mom cheered loudly. Lily는 자신이 매우 자랑스러웠어요. Lily was so proud of herself. 수영이 재밌어. 그녀는 활짝 웃으며 말했어요. Swimming is fun, she said with a big smile. 성민은 집에서 무언가 만드는 것을 좋아했어요. Sungmin loved building things at home. 그는 방에 작은 작업실이 있었어요. He had a small workshop in his room. 어느 날 성민은 멋진 아이디어가 떠올랐어요. One day, he had a great idea. 로봇을 만들어야지. 성민은 기쁘게 말했어요. I'll build a robot, Sungmin said happily. 그는 전선, 나사, 금속 조각을 모았어요. He collected wires, screws, and metal pieces. 성민은 밤낮으로 쉬지 않고 일했어요. Sungmin worked day and night without rest. 그의 로봇은 천천히 형태를 갖추기 시작했어요. His robot started to take shape slowly. 성민은 로봇 몸에 팔과 다리를 붙였어요. He attached arms and legs to the body. 잘 작동했으면 좋겠어. 성민은 긴장하며 속삭였어요. I hope it works. Sungmin whispered nervously. 성민은 버튼을 눌렀지만 아무 일도 일어나지 않았어요. He pressed a button and nothing happened. 성민은 슬펐지만 포기하지 않았어요. Sungmin felt sad but didn't give up. 아마 더 강한 배터리가 필요할 거야, 성민은 생각했어요. Maybe I need a stronger battery, he thought. 그는 차고에서 더큰 배터리를 찾았어요. He found a bigger battery in the garage. 
성민은 그것을 로봇의 가슴에 연결했어요. Sung Min connected it to the robot's chest. 로봇의 눈이 깜빡였고 움직이기 시작했어요. The robot's eyes blinked and it moved. 작동한다. 정말로 작동해. 성민은 외쳤어요. It works. It really works. Sung Min shouted. 로봇은 걷고 물건을 집을 수 있었어요. The robot could walk and pick things up. 성민은 로봇에게 헬퍼 친구라는 이름을 지어줬어요. Sung Min named his robot buddy the helper. 헬퍼는 성민이 어질러 놓은 방을 청소했어요. Buddy helped Sung Min clean his messy room. 성민의 부모님은 로봇을 보고 놀라셨어요. Sung Min's parents were amazed by the robot. 넌 진짜 발명가야. 부모님이 말했어요. You are a real inventor. They said. 어느 날 성민은 헬퍼를 학교에 데려갔어요. Sung Min took Buddy to school one day. 친구들은 헬퍼를 보고 신나했어요. His friends were excited to see Buddy. 헬퍼가 숙제도 도와줄 수 있니? 친구들이 물었어요. Can Buddy help with homework? They asked. 언젠가는 될지도 몰라. 성민이 웃으며 말했어요. Maybe one day, Sung Min said, smiling. 성민은 헬퍼에게 그림 그리는 법을 가르쳤어요. Sung Min taught Buddy how to draw pictures. 헬퍼는 주변 모두에게 친구가 되었어요. Buddy became a friend to everyone around. 성민은 자신의 노력에 자부심을 느꼈어요. Sung Min felt proud of his hard work. 그는 더 놀라운 발명품을 만들 꿈을 꾸었어요. He dreamed of building more amazing inventions. 이제 시작일 뿐이야, 성민은 생각했어요. This is only the beginning, Sung Min thought. 시우는 오래된 회중시계를 발견했어요. Si Wu found an old pocket watch. 그 시계는 녹슬고 아주 오래되어 보였어요. The watch looked rusty and very old. 그는 실수로 작은 버튼을 눌렀어요. He accidentally pressed a small button. 갑자기 시우는 다른 곳에 있었어요. Suddenly, Si Wu was in a different place. 그는 공룡들이 그의 주변을 걷고 있는 것을 보았어요. He saw dinosaurs walking around him. 정말 놀라워. 시우는 신나게 생각했어요. This is amazing. Si Wu thought excitedly. 그는 돌아가기 위해 버튼을 눌렀어요. He pressed the button to go back. 이번에는 중세 시대의 성에 있었어요. Now, he was in a medieval castle. 기사들과 말들이 그의 주변에 가득했어요. Knights and horses were everywhere around him. 과거에 있는 게 분명해, 그는 생각했어요. I must be in the past, he thought. 시우는 다시 빨리 버튼을 눌렀어요. Si Wu pressed the button again quickly. 이번에는 미래에 도착했어요. This time, he landed in the future. 로봇들이 걷고 날아다니고 있었어요. Robots were walking and flying around him. 시우는 탐험하며 놀라운 기술을 보았어요. Si Wu explored and saw amazing technology. 그는 집으로 돌아가기 위해 버튼을 눌렀어요. He pressed the button to return home. 갑자기 그는 바쁜 도시에 있었어요. Suddenly, he was in a busy city. 그는 자신이 1980년대에 있음을 깨달았어요. He realized he was in the 1980s. 옷과 자동차가 다르게 보였어요. The clothes and cars looked different. 
시우는 한번더 버튼을 눌렀어요. Si Wu pressed the button one more time. 마침내 그는 자신의 방으로 돌아왔어요. Finally, he arrived back in his room. 정말 미친 모험이었어. 그가 속삭였어요. What a crazy adventure, he whispered. 시우는 생각에 잠기며 시계를 바라보았어요. Si Wu looked at the watch thoughtfully. 그는 그것을 비밀로 하기로 결심했어요. He decided to keep it as a secret. 시우는 시계를 작은 상자에 숨겼어요. He hid the watch in a small box. 시우는 행복하면서도 조금 피곤했어요. Si Wu felt happy and a bit tired. 다음 날 그는 다시 궁금해졌어요. The next day, he felt curious again. 시우는 다시 시계를 집어들었어요. Si Wu picked up the watch once more. 이번에는 어디로 데려갈까? 그가 궁금해했어요. Where will it take me next? He wondered. 그는 미소를 지으며 버튼을 눌렀어요. He pressed the button with a smile. 그리고 시우의 모험은 계속되었어요. And the adventure continued for Si Wu. 맥스는 방과 후 축구하는 것을 좋아해요. Max loves playing soccer after school. 그는 친구들과 매일 연습을 해요. He practices every day with his friends. 맥스는 빠르게 드리블하고 강하게 슛을 해요. Max dribbles fast and shoots hard. 그의 코치는 그의 노력을 알아차렸어요. His coach notices his hard work. 맥스, 너에게 큰 잠재력이 있어. 코치가 말했어요. Max, you have great potential, says coach. 맥스는 미소를 지으며 뿌듯함을 느꼈어요. Max smiles and feels proud inside. 금요일에 중요한 경기가 있어요. There is a big game on Friday. 맥스의 팀은 매일 더 열심히 훈련해요. Max's team trains harder each day. 그는 아침 일찍 일어나 몇 마일을 달려요. He wakes up early to run miles. 맥스는 정확하게 공을 차요. Max kicks the ball with precision. 그의 팀원들은 그의 골을 응원해요. His teammates cheer for his goal. 학교에서 맥스는 축구 전략을 공부해요. At school, Max studies soccer strategies. 그는 유명한 선수들을 보며 영감을 얻어요. He watches famous players for inspiration. 맥스는 영상에서 새로운 기술을 배워요. Max learns new skills from videos. 그의 엄마는 모든 경기에 그를 응원해요. His mom supports him at every match. 경기 날이 되자 맥스는 긴장돼요. On game day, Max feels nervous. 코치는 힘을 주는 연설을 해요. His coach gives a motivating speech. 경기가 시작되고 맥스는 집중해요. The game starts and Max focuses. 그는 그의 가장 친한 친구 제이크에게 패스해요. He passes to his best friend, Jake. 제이크가 골을 넣고 관중들이 환호해요. Jake scores and the crowd cheers. 맥스는 다시 달려가서 그의 골대를 방어해요. Max runs back to defend his goal. 그는 상대방의 강한 슛을 막아요. He blocks a strong kick from the opponent. Max's team runs two goals. Max's team leads by two goals. 상대 팀은 이제 더 공격적으로 나와요. The opponents get more aggressive now. Max는 침착하게 스마트하게 플레이해요. 
Max stays calm and plays smart. 마지막 휘슬이 울리고 그들은 이겼어요. The final whistle blows they win. 그의 코치는 맥스와 제이크를 안아줬어요. His coach hugs Max and Jake. 잘했어, 팀 코치가 칭찬했어요. Well done, team, coach praises. 맥스는 자신의 노력에 자부심을 느꼈어요. Max feels proud of his effort. 그는 다음 경기를 기대하고 있어요. He looks forward to the next match. John arrived at his new school for the first time today. He felt nervous as he passed through the school gate. He was excited about meeting new friends. The hallway was full of students. He found his way to the classroom. As he entered, everyone looked at him. The teacher showed him to his seat. He sat by the window. The first class was math. John listened carefully to the teacher. The board was filled with numbers. He tried hard to solve the problems. It was lunchtime. He wondered if he should eat alone. But then, a friend came up to him. Do you want to eat together? the friend asked. John smiled and nodded. They talked and became friends. The afternoon class was English. The teacher asked a question. John raised his hand. The teacher smiled at his answer. The day passed quickly. On his way home, he felt good. He realized the school wasn't so bad after all. Each day, he adapted a little more. He grew more confident in class. He made many new friends. He studied hard and his grades improved. John was happy at his new school. Lily went to the pool with her mom. She felt excited but a little scared. The water looked deep and blue. Don't worry, said her mom with a smile. Lily put on her pink swim cap. She dipped her toes in the cool water. It's cold, she said, shivering. Her mom laughed and jumped in first. Lily slowly stepped into the pool. The water felt nice on her skin. Let's start with floating, said her mom. Lily lay on her back, arms spread wide. I'm floating, Lily shouted, surprised. She kicked her legs gently in the water. Good job, keep practicing, her mom said. Next, they tried blowing bubbles. Lily put her face in the water and blew. Bubbles floated up, making her giggle. Now, let's try swimming, her mom said. Lily watched her mom swim across the pool. I can do it too, Lily said confidently. She moved her arms and kicked her feet. At first, she splashed everywhere. Oops, that was messy. Lily laughed. Her mom showed her how to move smoothly. 
Lily tried again, this time much better. She swam from one side of the pool to the other. You did it, her mom cheered loudly. Lily was so proud of herself. Swimming is fun, she said with a big smile. Sungmin loved building things at home. He had a small workshop in his room. One day, he had a great idea. I'll build a robot, Sungmin said happily. He collected wires, screws, and metal pieces. Sungmin worked day and night without rest. His robot started to take shape slowly. He attached arms and legs to the body. I hope it works, Sungmin whispered nervously. He pressed a button, and nothing happened. Sungmin felt sad but didn't give up. Maybe I need a stronger battery, he thought. He found a bigger battery in the garage. Sungmin connected it to the robot's chest. The robot's eyes blinked, and it moved. It works. It really works, Sungmin shouted. The robot could walk and pick things up. Sungmin named his robot Buddy the Helper. Buddy helped Sungmin clean his messy room. Sungmin's parents were amazed by the robot. You are a real inventor, they said. Sungmin took Buddy to school one day. His friends were excited to see Buddy. Can Buddy help with homework? they asked. Maybe one day, Sungmin said, smiling. Sungmin taught Buddy how to draw pictures. Buddy became a friend to everyone around. Sungmin felt proud of his hard work. He dreamed of building more amazing inventions. This is only the beginning, Sungmin thought. Siwoo found an old pocket watch. The watch looked rusty and very old. He accidentally pressed a small button. Suddenly, Siwoo was in a different place. He saw dinosaurs walking around him. This is amazing, Siwoo thought excitedly. He pressed the button to go back. Now, he was in a medieval castle. Knights and horses were everywhere around him. I must be in the past, he thought. Siwoo pressed the button again quickly. This time, he landed in the future. Robots were walking and flying around him. Siwoo explored and saw amazing technology. He pressed the button to return home. Suddenly, he was in a busy city. He realized he was in the 1980s. The clothes and cars looked different. Siwoo pressed the button one more time. Finally, he arrived back in his room. What a crazy adventure, he whispered. 
Si Wu looked at the watch thoughtfully. He decided to keep it as a secret. He hid the watch in a small box. Siwu felt happy and a bit tired. The next day, he felt curious again. Siwu picked up the watch once more. Where will it take me next? he wondered. He pressed the button with a smile. And the adventure continued for Siwu. Max loves playing soccer after school. He practices every day with his friends. Max dribbles fast and shoots hard. His coach notices his hard work. Max, you have great potential, says coach. Max smiles and feels proud inside. There is a big game on Friday. Max's team trains harder each day. He wakes up early to run miles. Max kicks the ball with precision. His teammates cheer for his goal. At school, Max studies soccer strategies. He watches famous players for inspiration. Max learns new skills from videos. His mom supports him at every match. On game day, Max feels nervous. His coach gives a motivating speech. The game starts, and Max focuses. He passes to his best friend, Jake. Jake scores, and the crowd cheers. Max runs back to defend his goal. He blocks a strong kick from the opponent. Max's team leads by two goals. The opponents get more aggressive now. Max stays calm and plays smart. The final whistle blows they win. His coach hugs Max and Jake. Well done, team, coach praises. Max feels proud of his effort. He looks forward to the next match. John arrived at his new school for the first time today. He felt nervous as he passed through the school gate. He was excited about meeting new friends. The hallway was full of students. He found his way to the classroom. As he entered, everyone looked at him. The teacher showed him to his seat. He sat by the window. The first class was math. John listened carefully to the teacher. The board was filled with numbers. He tried hard to solve the problems. It was lunchtime. He wondered if he should eat alone. But then, a friend came up to him. Do you want to eat together? the friend asked. John smiled and nodded. They talked and became friends. The afternoon class was English. The teacher asked a question. John raised his hand. The teacher smiled at his answer. The day passed quickly. On his way home, he felt good. 
He realized the school wasn't so bad after all. Each day, he adapted a little more. He grew more confident in class. He made many new friends. He studied hard and his grades improved. John was happy at his new school. Lily went to the pool with her mom. She felt excited but a little scared. The water looked deep and blue. Don't worry, said her mom with a smile. Lily put on her pink swim cap. She dipped her toes in the cool water. It's cold, she said, shivering. Her mom laughed and jumped in first. Lily slowly stepped into the pool. The water felt nice on her skin. Let's start with floating, said her mom. Lily lay on her back, arms spread wide. I'm floating, Lily shouted, surprised. She kicked her legs gently in the water. Good job, keep practicing, her mom said. Next, they tried blowing bubbles. Lily put her face in the water and blew. Bubbles floated up, making her giggle. Now, let's try swimming, her mom said. Lily watched her mom swim across the pool. I can do it too, Lily said confidently. She moved her arms and kicked her feet. At first, she splashed everywhere. Oops, that was messy. Lily laughed. Her mom showed her how to move smoothly. Lily tried again, this time much better. She swam from one side of the pool to the other. You did it, her mom cheered loudly. Lily was so proud of herself. Swimming is fun, she said with a big smile. Sungmin loved building things at home. He had a small workshop in his room. One day, he had a great idea. I'll build a robot, Sungmin said happily. He collected wires, screws, and metal pieces. Sungmin worked day and night without rest. His robot started to take shape slowly. He attached arms and legs to the body. I hope it works, Sungmin whispered nervously. He pressed a button, and nothing happened. Sungmin felt sad but didn't give up. Maybe I need a stronger battery, he thought. He found a bigger battery in the garage. Sungmin connected it to the robot's chest. The robot's eyes blinked, and it moved. It works. It really works, Sungmin shouted. The robot could walk and pick things up. Sungmin named his robot Buddy the Helper. Buddy helped Sungmin clean his messy room. Sungmin's parents were amazed by the robot. You are a real inventor, they said. 
Sungmin took Buddy to school one day. His friends were excited to see Buddy. Can Buddy help with homework? They asked. Maybe one day, Sungmin said, smiling. Sungmin taught Buddy how to draw pictures. Buddy became a friend to everyone around. Sungmin felt proud of his hard work. He dreamed of building more amazing inventions. This is only the beginning, Sungmin thought. Siwoo found an old pocket watch. The watch looked rusty and very old. He accidentally pressed a small button. Suddenly, Siwoo was in a different place. He saw dinosaurs walking around him. This is amazing, Siwoo thought excitedly. He pressed the button to go back. Now, he was in a medieval castle. Knights and horses were everywhere around him. I must be in the past, he thought. Siwoo pressed the button again quickly. This time, he landed in the future. Robots were walking and flying around him. Siwoo explored and saw amazing technology. He pressed the button to return home. Suddenly, he was in a busy city. He realized he was in the 1980s. The clothes and cars looked different. Siwoo pressed the button one more time. Finally, he arrived back in his room. What a crazy adventure, he whispered. Siwoo looked at the watch thoughtfully. He decided to keep it as a secret. He hid the watch in a small box. Siwoo felt happy and a bit tired. The next day, he felt curious again. Siwoo picked up the watch once more. Where will it take me next? He wondered. He pressed the button with a smile. And the adventure continued for Siwoo. Max loves playing soccer after school. He practices every day with his friends. Max dribbles fast and shoots hard. His coach notices his hard work. Max, you have great potential, says coach. Max smiles and feels proud inside. There is a big game on Friday. Max's team trains harder each day. He wakes up early to run miles. Max kicks the ball with precision. His teammates cheer for his goal. At school, Max studies soccer strategies. He watches famous players for inspiration. Max learns new skills from videos. His mom supports him at every match. On game day, Max feels nervous. His coach gives a motivating speech. The game starts, and Max focuses. 
he passes to his best friend, Jake. Jake scores, and the crowd cheers. Max runs back to defend his goal. He blocks a strong kick from the opponent. Max's team leads by two goals. The opponents get more aggressive now. Max stays calm and plays smart. The final whistle blows they win. His coach hugs Max and Jake. Well done, team, coach praises. Max feels proud of his effort. He looks forward to the next match.